thanks for dropping in. After the months of building prototypes and testing, I'm excited to show off my latest puzzle design, the Barrel Cooper's Puzzle Box. Like most puzzle boxes, the goal is to find the hidden compartment within the puzzle. But this one has a little twist to it. Somewhere hidden within the puzzle is a solution plaque. The goal is to find the plaque, reassemble the puzzle, then proudly display the plaque on the front of the puzzle as a sign of total mastery. It also includes a display stand, although that has nothing to do with the actual solution. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this puzzle. And then next week, I'll show you how you can 3D print your own copy. I'll also go over the process of coming up with the puzzle design and some hurdles I found along the way. All right, let's get to solving. When you hold the puzzle in your hand, you'll notice there's a lot of little moving pieces that are open to you from the very get-go. For example, these hoops on the side rotate freely, but they have nothing to do with the solution. They're just there as a bit of a red herring. The three sections of the barrel have a little bit of wiggle to them, although not much. The cork on the side has a slight bit of rotation movement to it. You can pull it and you can push it, but you can't pull it out of its hole yet. On the front of the barrel, there's a very obvious locking mechanism, but it's inset, so we can't manipulate it directly, at least not without cheating and using a tool. Less obvious is that the entire puzzle can be slightly pulled apart. There's a spring that wants to pull it back together, but you can pull it apart and rotate it. And as you do so, it will eventually snap into a new spot every 180 degrees. We don't really want to mess with that yet, so I'm going to return it back to its original position. And speaking of original positions, the bottom of the barrel has these little stave indicators showing you what the starting configuration was. This is going to be very important because we have a lot of moves going back and forth and those help us keep track of where we are. The first step is going to be to remove that cork. And to do that, we're going to use a classic puzzle solving technique. We just give the puzzle a little slap on the bottom and the cork comes right out. There's just a hole in the cork and that interfaced with a small metal lock from the hole that it came out of. This lock was held in place with a magnet in the act of slapping the puzzle caused it to fall into a little recessed area there. The cork has a very distinctive shape on the end and that shape happens to match the locking mechanism I had mentioned before. So let's do the obvious thing. We're going to lock the cork into place and begin to turn. And that reveals a screw piece, which we can unscrew either with the cork or the rest by hand. The center piece is now free to rotate, and we're going to rotate that 180 degrees so that the cork hole that was on the other side of the barrel now lines up with these stave indicators on the bottom of the barrel. This next step is a little tricky. This is not a normal screw. It can now be pulled out further than it could before. So here's its original position and here's its slightly pulled out position. Now counterintuitively, we can screw the screw further in than we ever could before. And we're going to need to use the cork to continue that. So we're gonna keep on screwing until eventually it starts to affect the bottom of the puzzle. And this, if you hadn't noticed before that the bottom of the puzzle could separate, would be kind of the, the hint. Take the bottom of the puzzle there and rotate it 180 degrees. And again, let's pay attention to how these uh, little indicators are matching up. Now, when we screw this further in, it begins to lift up the bottom of the barrel, revealing a hidden compartment. But it doesn't reveal a plaque for the solution. That's because the puzzle is only half solved, and it's just going to get trickier from here on out. We're going to take the cork to kind of keep pushing the screw out until we can pull it out freely from the bottom of the puzzle. 
The barrel, as we can see, has a straight shot currently in this configuration between the bottom and the front. And now we just need to mess around with this configuration. So if we begin to rotate the center of the barrel, you can see there's places where there's kind of a smaller hole and places where there's a larger hole. We're going to rotate this bottom piece 180 degrees and then rotate the center piece 180 degrees with these three indicators in alignment, we now have a new path in this hole. We can take this screw piece as a tool and we don't need to twist or turn it. We can just use it as a plunger. And as we push it through that hole, we pop off yet another cap. And that reveals the solution plaque. So, can take the screw back out and we have all of our pieces. All we need to do is return everything back to the way it was. And if you were paying attention during the steps, reversing it is actually fairly easy. I would put the top cap on first, push that onto the barrel. The barrel is currently in that initial alignment, which we need to uh, undo, so we wanted the cork hole to be aligned up with this indicator and the bottom piece to be rotated 180 degrees. That once again gives us a clear shot from the bottom of the barrel to the front of the barrel. We're going to take the screw piece and we're going to push in this side first. If you try the other side, it, it won't work. And you may need to use the cork piece to kind of get that all the way through. That's now coming out the front. We can now take the bottom lid and reattach it. Now that this is um, unscrewed as far as it is, we can rotate this center piece and we can rotate the bottom piece. So we've reached this initial alignment. Now we want the screw to go back in its uh, initial state, which if you recall, there's two ways it can screw back in. It can screw in when um, it's pulled out and it can screw in when it's pushed in. We want to screw it in when it's pushed in. Now we're going to slap the bottom of the puzzle to release that little metal bar. Stick the cork in, rotate it upside down, and just rotate the cork until it locks back into place. It's kind of a complex puzzle with a lot of steps, but once you understand what's going on inside, it's easy to reopen fairly quickly. So I'll demonstrate that one more time, this time without explaining every single step in quite as much detail as I did before. So first step, slap the bottom of the puzzle, remove the cork, unscrew the screw, rotate this centerpiece 180 degrees so it matches these indicators. Pull the screw out even more, I'm going to preemptively rotate this bottom piece, screw this back in until the bottom pops off. Now I'm going to retrieve the screw, put everything back into its initial alignment with all these indicators, like so. Take the screw and use it as a plunger to push off the front cap. And there we go, one fully disassembled barrel puzzle. In next week's video, I'll cover how you can 3D print and build your own copy. I'll also post all the files for this project for free on Thingiverse for that video.
until then, thanks for stopping by.